Thank you for joining us and welcome to Good Morning Delhi. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much. So, have you heard of that line, location, location, location? Yeah. Stupid question. Because, of course, that's like one of the first rules when it comes to dealing with property, real estate. And that's what you guys are in. Right. So, uh, let's talk about what it is that you'll do. Can you tell us more? Elaborate. Yeah. So, uh, our company name is Scooter. And uh, uh, we are a managed office player uh, right now, present okay. across the country. Okay. Uh, what do you mean when you say managed office player? Okay. So, we are, there's a traditional shift. Uh, for a tenant uh, taking the space from a builder or a landlord okay. to a managed uh, player like us. Okay. Uh, for example, now you need a 20,000 square feet office in uh, one of the primest uh, location of Bombay, Gurgaon or anywhere in the country. Right. You contact uh, us, either we have an office there, either uh, we built it for you. Right. So for example, now you choose some building, we will we will shortlist that building for you, right. we will take it on lease, Right. Uh, we will build it up according to your requirements right. and then we run the operations of the building. Other than the core operations, for example, now your uh, 94.3, we will not hire RJs, but we will hire the infrastructure uh, guys. Okay. We'll do air conditioning, we'll do parking, we'll do coffee, we'll do cleaning, we'll do security, everything which is required to run an office. So all I have to focus on is my core function. Yes, absolutely. So you need to only write your scripts, you only have to do the RJ, you only have to uh, operate the core operations of the uh, of the uh, business. You've just reduced my organization to just, yes, one, yes. you know, me and my colleagues, Aniket yes. and uh, uh, Aditi. Yes, so correct. that's it, just the three of us. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so there there is a shift, there is a uh, paradigm shift yes. that's happening yes. when it comes to the way people look at office spaces. Yes. You're getting, you know, you, are you getting a lot of corporates, entities who are jumping in and saying we want this because this makes life easier for us? Yes, absolutely. Because uh, we always tell our customers that you focus on your core operation, we focus on our core operation. Okay. We give you a beautiful office uh, across the country. So, offices which are always dreamed of or probably uh, which are only affordable by a very, very large organization. Right. Uh, but we give that kind of an experience for a smaller organization also of say one seat, two seat, five seat. Okay. Start up uh, wow. uh, at that kind of a location. Okay, all right. We'll find out from Anuj when we come back the difference between, say, a managed office and a co working space. He's the co founder, chief operating officer of Scooter. We're going to be back in just a bit right here on 94.3 Radio 1. This conversation is called Fire Starters. Don't go anywhere. The secret of a happy radio. Point three, Fire Starters. <laughs> This is Good Morning Delhi with Chris. Radio 1. Anuj Saxena, he's the co-founder, chief opera operating officer of Scooter. It's India's number one chain of managed offices and co-working spaces. Of course, you uh, elaborated and you told us what that entails. Um, things are changing, definitely. But how much? I mean... Uh, because you're calling yourself a number one chain. So are you telling me that your client list is, you've got a nice yeah. thick Rolodex of, you know, Actually, offices we, reaching out to you? Yes, we've got a uh, lot of international customers today, uh, brands like Expedia, Economist, BMW, mm -hmm. National Kitchen, German mm -hmm. MNCs, right. uh, um, US MNCs, and right. international companies, also, Indian companies also have taken space from us All right. because they want to have a hassle-free space. Okay, uh, It's a full-time uh, role of an administration department uh, to manage these spaces. First of all, this to design these spaces. Yeah, I really like that idea that you talked of <coughs> where, you know, a company comes and does what it's meant to yes, do, yes. focus on its core and just work on that because a lot of times companies, you know, say, okay, so, you know, it's an entrepreneurship or whatever. And they say, okay, now we have to build an office for a X number of people. And they're clueless about, you know, uh, how yes. to build these spaces and how to design them. And there are things like safety and security that also need Absolutely. to be taken into consideration. Um, and, uh, you know, let's talk about uh, what are the ideas that are right now abounding when it comes to office spaces? What are people looking for? Because now it's about experiences. You talk about yes. focus <laughs> areas, like I've never heard of a term like that. Yeah, the, the focus area we have in our office is this really awesome stairway where we, all our business is conducted over there. <laughs> <laughs> I am an interior design company. Mm -hmm. We we does that uh, for our customers, but we take care of uh, very very small nitty gritties behind. Right. Uh, nitty gritties like fire safety. Mm -hmm. uh, people will not realize would not realize that uh, running from uh, one room 
to the fire exit uh, needs what what kind of an uh, passage area mm-hmm. right that's been taken care for example tomorrow is a fire mm-hmm. i want people to be safe in the in the offices yeah. right they should be able to the right number of exit fire exit should be there mm-hmm. the a fire exit should be opened in the gallery mm-hmm. that's very important because uh, smaller builders are not uh, giving you that Mm-hmm. They they does not realize because they don't hire uh, bigger professionals to design these spaces. Okay, we make sure that we do that. Uh, right. We give you uh, fantastic offices, fantastic coffee shops mm-hmm. inside. Wow! So you would uh, not want to go home. Yeah. So <laughs> I just uh, told you that the cup which we buy is from Italy, and uh, the beauty of the cup is that the cup remains hot for fifteen twenty minutes. So the, the imagine the kind of quality of coffee. and uh, the hot coffee which i'm i'm serving you i'm very impressed yeah. with companies that say you know come join us yes. hot coffee <laughs> just yeah. join us yeah. listen we're going to come back we talk about cost to company when we return right here on 94.3 radio one this is a conversation we call five starters yeah. do you like michael jackson anuj yes man i'm going to give you so much michael jackson you'll be drowning in this stuff <laughs> okay well coming up the way you make me feel right here on 94.3 radio one we'll be, we'll be back the secret of a happy re- that sounds really great and it seems like the the client list that you have is the who's who of uh, companies from around the world yes. right um cost to company yeah let's talk about that is that a deterrent is that prohibitive and i'm sure any organization would want you know to give their employees that experience because uh you know uh, when you do the analysis uh, it, it it aids and abets productivity uh you know retention all of that right yeah. so the attrition rate would be something pleasing yes uh companies don't want to see good people leave Maybe. you know um and employees like to stay in places that make them feel good right. even if it means that the paychecks not all that awesome but at least it's a place that is a you know helps them uh, grows their career prospects and at the same time also makes them feel good so um let's talk about that cost that impact yeah so that's very important again uh, as i've told you earlier also that experience is very important for a customer uh, how does that int- attrition goes down uh, yeah. why will people not leave right uh, we ensure that uh, community is very important for people to stay back mm-hmm. uh, Uh, as rightly said paycheck is not always important people does not leave their uh, companies they yeah, leave their yeah i do bosses. believe this i really yes, do they leave their bosses and they leave their uh, probably spaces if, yeah. if the washroom is bad always stinking they will leave that yeah. good people will never stay back yeah, yeah. if you don't uh, give them good coffee they yeah. might not uh, yeah. uh, be with you yeah. but uh, instead we give them a great coffee mm-hmm. we give them a fantastic uh, reception to when they start mm-hmm. we give them good music on the reception we give them uh, uh, amazing music 94.3 uh, Thank you very much uh, you. in the uh, lobby areas in right. the uh, washrooms in the cafeterias yes uh, where they can chill out there yes. are uh, sleeping pods yeah there are phone booths there are zen zones right we give them uh, we are trying to start uh, uh, pedicure mm-hmm. head massages on their seats nice yeah just imagine uh, would you like to be in that kind of an office no <laughs> Come on, I don't want fancy nice things like that. Of course I do. Sign me up right away. Okay, listen, more conversation. We'll talk about being a fire starter. Yeah. How it is that you and your partners at Scooter created something quite unique right. and today, you know, everybody wants a piece of what you guys have created. Yes. We're going to be back in just a bit right here on 94.3 Radio 1. Founder, Chief uh, Operating Officer of uh, uh, Scooter, joining me here on Fire Starters, Anuj. I want to talk about you and your partners' journey. You got uh, who are your other partners in Scooter? Yeah, so uh, we are three friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, one uh, name is Puneet Chandra. Okay. And uh, the third partner is Mr. Sankit Jain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we are three friends from childhood. Wow. And uh, we've been to school together. After that, we do it all musty together. <laughs> it's and almost incredible. You guys yeah. are hanging out yeah. at the Nukkad. Yes, yes, absolutely. And now you guys are creating <laughs> Nukkads. Is yes, what you are doing and correct. really refined spaces. Right, that. right. So uh, it's a beautiful journey. I mean, uh, I think that we are the best partners. You guys world. are blessed. I mean, yes. really, not just a of course for creating what you have created, but yeah. a friendship that has now sort of changed. Yes. And become. come something else and yeah so the best part is that we are always together i mean uh, we have seen lot of ups and downs in business and uh, i feel very very blessed to have these guys with me i mean uh, other than the friends mm-hmm. uh, being being together in bad times is important there where the partnership breaks i mean when you start blaming each other we have never done that wow. we have been uh, whatever may be the situation we have been together 
uh, we united and uh, we were happy uh, working the roles are very clear now nice. and uh, that is why uh, we want to create this as a 1 billion dollar uh, company in next 3 uh, to 5 years my my that's yeah. ambitious big number yeah but uh, no, now but we have started believing uh, that number in in our blood that it will be done lovely yeah. i yeah. like how you guys have also found your own unique spot yeah uh in terms of what you have created right. the company the kind of the character of it is, yes. is entirely new yes and that's what fire starters is all about right. right right so you know how would you say that that came about because it was organic wasn't yes. it yes yes there were a lot of first, there was a lot of fumbling lot of stumbling yes but you guys picked yourselves up yeah so we tried a lot of business models earlier so first model of scooter was uh a failure because we tried to integrate a lot of uh, space unused uh, spaces across the country mm-hmm. we integrated uh, around 300 spaces to be on a platform the experience was not nice then we shifted uh, to our own spaces that is what uh, and organically we we found out uh, one by one one by one one by one what are the problems which are faced by the customer right uh, so this is how we got in uh, to a fantastic business model which is not common now uh, we create uh, beautiful spaces for the customer every space is unique uh, they've got fantastic vibrations that is why people stay back uh, with us that's great okay yeah. listen um thank you so much for sharing with us this morning here on 94.3 radio one and good morning delhi anuj i wish you and your partners thank all you. the folks there at scooter uh, you know a bright future it looks like you know the right guys are at the helm <laughs> and uh, thank you for coming hanging out thank you so much and uh, hopefully 94.3 yes. radio one will <laughs> ring through the corridors yeah. <laughs> of organizations and offices created by scooter Definitely, yeah. all right well you know what we're going to come back uh, with more music right here on 94 yes we because we love you, you, love you.